This is an informational video which introduces Oregon HOSCAP, a secure web-based hospital capacity status, incident, and ED diversion reporting system. This video is part of a series which overviews the secure Oregon Health Alert Network systems. Your facility or agency may use one or more components of the Health Alert Network or HAN. This video only introduces the HOSCAP component of HAN. Oregon HOSCAP is based on a commercial software known as EM Resource. EM Resource is used widely throughout the United States. While viewing Oregon HOSCAP online, you will see references to EM Resource in the help files and on your screen, including the login page. EM Resource is simply the commercial name. Like other commercial software, it will occasionally undergo upgrades, which will modify features and the general look and feel of the site. A HOSCAP advisory group is convened monthly to discuss system use, business rules, and function. Depending upon your trauma region, use of HOSCAP will differ. Regardless of your region or health system, your participation will provide situational status and awareness to local and state partner hospitals, public safety, and the federal support system. It is also accessed by EMS and 911 centers for real-time information during day-to-day -day operations. The objective of this video is to introduce the core operational concepts of HOSCAP and the healthcare delivery system. Users of HOSCAP are required to view this video before attending online training depending upon job function. Field use of HOSCAP will differ from facility ED use. This video will briefly demonstrate both. 911 centers may also need to monitor HOSCAP. HOSCAP is a critical situational awareness tool monitored in the State Public Health and Medical Emergency Operations Center. It is also a federally mandated system which is part of the National Disaster Medical System, or NDMS, and the HAVBED system. National, state, regional, and local exercises occur throughout the calendar year. It is critical that facilities and public safety maintain 24-7 secured access to HOSCAP. Use of HOSCAP during a mass casualty incident, or MCI, and daily operations helps to ensure the healthcare delivery system can efficiently manage patient care during surge. The overarching goal of HOSCAP is to provide real-time resourcing capabilities. It also allows Oregon public health officials to accurately report a demonstrated need for federal assistance during an emergency. Successful use of HOSCAP ensures the health and medical response system is prepared in the event of an emergency. For Healthcare Region 1, HOSCAP is used in conjunction with EM Track to manage pre-hospital patient transport from scene to hospital. EM Track is introduced in another video and interacts with HOSCAP when patients are inbound. Any change to a hospital's capacity or status requires an immediate update to HOSCAP. Situations that could change a hospital's capacity include multi-vehicle accidents, industrial accidents, shootings, structural failures, major fires, chemical releases, staffing shortages, or just day-to-day -day stress on a hospital's ability to treat patients. Patient capacity and triage thresholds will vary by hospital, but resourcing patients in such events ensures patient loads are appropriately distributed amongst local hospitals. Access to HOSCAP will vary upon your position and agency. Different user accounts have different views. Some accounts will allow full access to enter, add, and edit capacity and or diversion. Others may be view only. If you have questions about login and access, consult your hospital or agency HAN HOSCAP system administrator. The HAN HOSCAP administrator is the local subject matter expert and grants user access privileges. Depending upon region, users may elect to set a custom view or condensed view of HOSCAP as shown here. For example, if you're mainly interested in viewing only regions 2, 7, and 9, it's easy to select a custom view. You may also view using the map function. Additionally, personal viewing preference settings are covered during HOSCAP's online training module. For 911 centers and hospital emergency departments, the most important HOSCAP activity is ensuring a shared ED or 911 center account is established and logged in to HOSCAP 24-7 on a dedicated computer terminal. Only trained users in your medical facility are permitted to modify, edit, and or update HOSCAP using the shared account. These updates should occur daily or throughout the day when facility statuses change. The remainder of this video will demonstrate the steps included to properly manage EMS routing following a fictional chemical exposure. This example is fictional. Note how an incident has been logged atop HOSCAP's home screen. Multiple patients are en route to several hospitals. Meanwhile, hospitals in the affected region update their capacity based on the number of patients they can accept. 
Not knowing when the next MCI or surge in patients may occur, hospitals update their HOSCAP capacity and are fluent in accessing and updating the system. EMS and fire are on scene for triage and transport. Dispatch coordinates all transfers. The above example uses data entered into HOSCAP to appropriately route patients. Had one of the hospitals been on an ED divert, or if a critical treatment capability had been unavailable, a CT scanner for example, the agency in charge of routing ambulances would select the next most appropriate hospital depending upon patient type and triage category. Had HOSCAP not been updated with current capacity or ED diversion information, and the patient or patients were routed based on that erroneous data, extra time would be spent rerouting to the next appropriate hospital. Lives can be lost if HOSCAP is not up to date during an MCI. Keeping HOSCAP updated is a critical component of effective pre-hospital patient management. As HOSCAP is implemented in Oregon, stakeholders play a critical role to ensure all partners have the access to situational awareness required to respond to any emergency. If your role in HOSCAP includes updating information, you are also required to complete online training available on the HAN home page. This informational video was made possible with funding from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. It was produced in partnership with Oregon Health and Sciences University, Dornbecker Children's Hospital, Tuolity Healthcare, AMR, Metro West Ambulance, Airlink, City of Portland Bureau of Emergency Communications, Legacy Health System, St. Charles Health Systems, Multnomah County EMS, and Life Flight. Use of HOSCAP or its supported systems without authority or in excess of authority is subject to prosecution. Unauthorized access is strictly prohibited. This video was made possible with funding from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. This video was produced for the Oregon Health Authority and the Department of Human Services by T. Scott Media.